Patrick. Tonight's the night. Super excited with my grandson at the Lamb's Head kicking off 2017 pig hunt. And guess what? Patrick, the hog killing machine, is gonna hunt for the first time by himself without me being there. We're pretty close to the ranch house and we're heading right now, my faithful Jeep, to his hunting spot. What? A lot of pig sign. Patrick, you have to kick off the hunt with some dead pigs today. I hope so. Yeah, man. Let's make it happen. Look at it. It looks piggy, doesn't it? This is a piggy looking place. Oh, look at that. Pigs everywhere. Okay, Patrick's first hunt by himself. There's a deer feeder. Uh, this particular feeder was empty, but look, it's been all rooted up here, rooted up all over the place. So I put a bag of corn down, mostly under the feeder. You can see that. And sprinkled it all over, in amongst the cactus. Um, this, this particular feeder has a bow stand over there, and then it has a rifle stand right over here. Patrick's going to be in the rifle stand tonight. There he is climbing in. I'm going to go help him get in the stand. I'm so proud of him by himself for the first time. This is awesome. Hey, Pat. Good to go. Yeah, buddy. Going out to check if the pigs hit last night late because Patrick... No luck. Nope. Nope. First night hunting by himself. Nothing. Except he had peace because he didn't have g saying, so Patrick, how are you Mark? So Patrick, how's school? So Patrick, how's this? Nice and quiet for a change hunting, huh? Uh-huh. True. Let's go see what they did last night. So just checking from last night. Baited this place pretty good before Patrick had his first hunt by himself. There's Patrick's tree stand. And then here's where it was all rooted up. I dumped a ton of corn underneath the feeder. Threw some corn, you can see. Nothing touched the corn last night. And over by that tree is another ladder stand, an archery stand, a little closer. So we thought this would be a good spot. It was all rooted up. They all fresh, all that dirt dug up. And I threw the corn in there last night, but that rooting looks like it's pretty fresh. I don't know, a day or two. So I have a feeling they'll be back, if not tonight, the next night. Well, let's go see the... Uh, by the ground blind I put up last night and see if anything hit that. So we're at the ground blind. We put corn all the way down the road that way. Corn that way. And here's our pop-up line. Nobody hit it. They did move one, huh? Somebody was here, just not for too long, I guess. So what we do is we put the corn in a few spots and we cover it with a heavy rock that deer and turkeys can't move. And then we see if the rock is moving, we know it was a pig. That's the only animal out here that's strong enough to move these big rocks and get the corn underneath. So here's today's mystery. Corn's out in the clearing, corn's along the road. But one of the rocks was moved. I don't know. Usually if the pigs come, they clean out everything. Unless we just kicked up one now, but I doubt that. Oh well. So we don't know which stand to go to tonight. This one or Patrick and the other tree stand. We'll see.
This is Patrick with the camera, and I'm sitting here in the Jeep. Just got done with Barry stand. Put protein in there. Reinforced the fence. Put that little feeder up for Frank. Barry, what? predictions for tonight? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> More food. So, I know everybody has seen this before. I've done this in the past. Call these um, pig bombs and a couple of PVC pipes. Drill some holes at the corner. Uh, corn kernels come out. We put a cap on the end, and we just drive the stake into the ground so the hogs can't get all the um, corn at once. They'll uh, try and knock as much as they can out, and then they keep coming back for more. But um, it keeps them in the area longer, so we'll see if those work. Okay, one of the uh, pig bombs is set. Drove the angle iron into the ground, chained to the bomb. So, as the pigs kick it, full with it, try and get more corn. They just get one, a couple kernels at a time. Because if they do hit this place, when I'm hoping they will, it's been one night with nothing, this is the second night. They'll wipe out the other corn in no time, and so this should keep them in the area uh, a little bit longer. And let's go set up another one. So this is my primary um, deer stand, my shooting box up there. See that? Where are we? Shooting box. And then it's just exactly a hundred. Keep the pigs out. So I put that pen up um, a year ago, a year and a half ago, and it's actually changed the pattern of the pigs here because they can't get to the feeder. So now it's either just deer or a big flock of turkeys I scared away as I pulled up that's eating the corn. So it's kind of changed the uh, pattern of the pigs. They're not the hogs are not at this spot as much, but um, the weather has been iffy. And in case it rains again, I want my grandson to be able to shoot from the shooting box. So I'm going to set this up for hogs anyway. I'm going to put another one of those um, pig bombs out and look for some decent sized rocks or dig a hole and cover it with some bigger branches that the other animals can't move, only the pigs. And I'll dump some corn here. I don't know if I'll be able to bring pigs into this spot in the next two or three days, four days, but it's a backup in case the weather changes and he can sit in the box. So we'll see what happens. Sitting here in our pop-up blind, air is baited. It was hit a little bit last night, but not crushed. A pig was here. Looked like um, one or two small pigs. They moved a rock, ate some corn, but they didn't clean the place out. So, Patrick, what are your predictions for tonight? Piggies. Piggies or a nap, one or the other. Hmm. We're either gonna get piggies or we're gonna get some sleep. Both are good. Mm. True. True. And here's how we prepare. This is what a rescue guy does. First, he brushes up before he goes to a rope class. Because that's all I do is just keep reading about ropes and driving my grandson crazy, making him tie knots he knows he'll never use, so he tells me. Fire equipment, streamlight flashlight, the best flashlight. <laughs> Scott thermal camera, a great camera. Why? They're great because I take them pig hunting! And here's the routine. You won't be able to see it if it's really dark. <laughs> I use the camera to find the pig. And I tell Patrick to get his gun up. He gets his gun in the general area. Then I hit the laser pointer on the, on the camera and I put it right on the pig. But before Patrick shoots, he gets now he can get the scope where he wants it and then I light him up with the flashlight and Patrick drops the hammer that's our rescue equipment slash pig hunting strategy wish us luck here I am using the thermal imaging camera and the glare off that camera onto this one is not working well but I can actually see it much better than that 
And all I've got are two raccoons so far. Boo. Patrick, where's the pigs? I don't know. Thousands of dollars in technology and I'm finding raccoons. I don't want raccoons. I want pigs.